Our Aguilar shop is here, back here once again tonight for the first time ever. Kings, Kings. What's going on, guys? That's us. That's Hi. us. Do, you, do I grab that? Do I, you grab can it. I, can for I, sure. Can I grab it? Oh, yeah. Hello. Hello, everyone. We're Kings, Kings. This, was, uh, this is uh, January 13th, 2024. Uh, our first show of the year and our first show ever. Um, it's it's great to be here. Thank you, thank you, Marco, for having us. Um, to my left here is Marcus Work. He plays drums for us. My name is Fez Reyes. I play guitar. Uh, this is Caitlin Reyes. Uh, she sings. And then this is Anthony Moncada, the four string machine on the bass. Um, yeah, back to you. <laughs> All right, well, first question we got to start off. How did this come about? We finally, you know, we've heard the hype. Do you guys live up to the hype? You're here. You're live. You're now. How did this come about? Um, so, so Caitlin and I, we've been friends for a long time, since like 2013, 14, something like that. For, like, for, for nine years. Nine not, ten, years. not ten yet, because yeah. we're not that old yet. Yeah. Well, but well, the year just turned, so just... No, not until later the year. Probably. Oh, okay. All right, all right, all right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so we, we should figure out the Zodiac sign for our, our friendship, like when we first met. Anyways, um, so we started playing open mics together as a duo. Um, her last name Reyes, my last name Reyes. By, by coincidence. Yes, yeah. uh, not related, um, but Reyes in Spanish, uh, according, to, according to you. Um, according to me, you can, according to Spanish. According to Spanish. According I don't know I don't know too much Spanish. Um, but, according to Spanish, Reyes means... Yeah. Comment that, below. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I keep cutting you off. Continue. <laughs> You're fine. No, but uh, according to Spanish, uh, kings. Not that I speak fluent Spanish at all. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say that. But I. Um, sorry, Jesus. Reyes. Reyes. Yeah, means Reyes. Kings. Reyes means kings. Reyes is the plural of king specifically. Yeah. I think Ray mm. is the singular version of king, and then mm. Reyes. Sounds right. Yeah. Sounds, yeah. It's not that deep, yeah. really, at yeah. the end of the day. But you know, yeah. it works. And it's so, a catchy name. Um, also, uh, no, no relation to my previous band, Elephant King. Like that was just total coincidence. I just like the word King. So Kings, Kings came before that. For those of you out there that know the lore, that if you would like to know more of the, the lore. Deep lore, yeah, the deep lore. We're yeah. not copywriting right. anything. Yeah, we're not. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. All right, bro. <laughs> well, based off, based off of what I saw tonight, you guys have an intriguing sound. How do you guys come up with the sound? You know, having to work with each other and just the ideas. How did that all come together? Um, I, I wrote a couple of the songs that we played tonight um, years ago. And honestly, they were always meant to be just like little acoustic songs that I played on my guitar. Um, and then eventually I met Fez uh, through a mutual friend. And uh, we, were all mu we were all musicians and whatnot. And uh, I ended up feeling comfortable around them to basically, you know, bring my originals to them. And Fez has been phenomenal in just being able to, like, translate the songs in a way that I could never even comprehend them to be. So I am very grateful for Fez here because he really made uh, my songs come to life. So I appreciate that. Yeah, of course. Love you, man. I I'm, I'm, love you too, man. I, you know, I'm happy to do it. Caitlin's got great vision and... We just both have always worked super well together. Um, to, like, I think more directly your question was, like, our, our sound specifically. Um, I really like the interplay of guitar and vocal that is prominent in, like, 70s rock. So, I, that's, I, you know, I've always drawn from that personally. Um, that being said, I mean, I, I, you know, we both have very lead styles in our own respects, you know, in our own... Um, you know, like in our own instruments, like here with her voice and me with my guitar. So I think just knowing kind of where I can punch in and take a lead and then like lay back tends to be there. Also, we use the harmonic minor scale. Anybody out there, any music nerds, just, just use that. A lot of tension, a lot of release. Just, yeah, just use that scale. There you go. Short answer, harmonic minor scale. Yeah. Um, but I, I feel like I should throw the question to Anthony and Marcus here. Like, do you guys uh, have any influences that you bring into this band that you feel like you want to shout out? Uh, yeah, I listen to a lot of uh, King Crimson. Um, I really dig the way they write music and, you know, they kind of jam around. I don't know if I'm supposed to hold this or I'm yeah, just going to. Yeah. Oh, okay. I feel, I feel I'm like. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> No. Uh, but a lot of like, you know, 70s like Jazz Fusion, Maha Vishnu Orchestra, stuff like that, even down to like, you know, Black Sabbath and Zeppelin the classics. So that's kind of where it comes from. And uh, Marcus, how about, how about you? All right. Uh, so, I mean, essentially ever since I was young and started playing drums, uh, 
I, it was it was all rock and roll. That's all I was into. ACDC, uh, Black Keys, uh, other mix of like yeah. early 2000s rock, plus a bunch of the oldies and the goodies. And it got away from me for a while, but now that I'm coming back to it, it's like truly the, the sound I love, especially to play. Like, it just it has such a a power behind it yeah. and it you you feel it all so it's just it's one of my favorite genres and styles of music so i'm i'm honestly just glad i get to play yeah so can't complain we're glad to have you bud well as i stated earlier you guys killed it tonight what can we expect from you guys in the future uh well we've got a bunch of shows lined up uh we have another one this month uh i think we're doing first friday uh in february i think we're doing one of the Griffin next week on the yeah. 21st, right? 21st, yeah. This might be out after that, um, but uh, we've got one in April. I mean, you know, we, we started um, late last year, Caitlin and I, just at a home studio um, trying to record a demo, and then we were like, eh, live shows sound more fun. So we, we assembled a band, and then, yeah, so just more shows for now. We'll see what happens once we get a logo done. Uh, it's over for y'all because we're gonna we're gonna have show. stickers, we're gonna have shirts, keychains. Key, oh my god! <laughs> I haven't heard. Comment below what merch you think we should have. Pop sockets. <laughs> yeah, that's a good Pop one. Sockets. Pop sockets. Or socks. Yeah. Or socks. Socks. Or socks. socks. Yeah. yeah. Leg warmers. Yeah. Bracelets. Earrings. Hats. Anyway, yeah, hats. <laughs> yeah, we'll get we'll get a whole clothing line. Kings Kings clothing. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> All right, guys, one final question. Where can we follow you guys? We want to see what you're all about. Where can the people see your music, hear your music, find these uh, pop sockets? Where can we find you? <laughs> so we're not, yeah, we, so we are currently still under construction of actually being able to provide you guys with a platform to listen to us on. At the moment, uh, we are trying to do some uh what is it demos and um obviously we are you know officially an established band now so uh those will be those are to be announced yeah. basically um in the meantime though you could follow us on instagram mm -hmm. um kings kings band mm -hmm. it'll be right here i don't know if you do, do you do that can i oh. it'll be right here the magic of it. yes yes <laughs> Um, and then, yeah, you'll find info. You'll you'll see us around. I mean, we'll we'll be playing shows. You know, Las Vegas 2024. We're coming for you, Kings Kings, baby. We're here. All right, thank you guys so much, Kings Kings.